Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like, don't forget to subscribe and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, back to work after the bank holiday. Hope you guys have had a good bank holiday. If you did, have a bank holiday wherever you are. Yesterday was May Day and um, yeah, we all had an extra day off. So I am back on uh, the jobs. I'm on the house where I did the door frames on Friday. And um, today I've got a little, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of plastering, mainly sort of some patch repairs. I've got a little bit of sand. I am waiting for sand delivery, but I've got a little bit in the bag here. So I'm gonna mix it up and use it, start patching up a few little places here and there. Um, also, I've hit some undercoat on one of the rooms. Just wanted to see what it looked like. The, the color was so strong in there. The end up, I had to do two coats of undercoat on it. So I'll show you guys what that's looking like, and I'll show you a couple of bits that I'm going to try and get done today as well. All right, guys. So this is this is one of the rooms. Um, this was the first room that I did the ceiling on, and uh, I've hit this with a bit of undercoat. You can see there's some really strong colors. A really strong pink over here really strong, I think it's sort of like a purple here and a green here. Yeah, don't ask me what was going on there, but also I've just given everywhere sort of like, a, sort of two coats of that. Uh, I've got a couple of holes to fill, some sort of big gouges like here, you can see. I've also got stuff like this, where obviously there was something on the wall, fill up all these little holes. Now I've undercoated, which is the way I prefer to do this. I can see every little hole or sort of place that needs a bit of filling so it's a couple of few little holes on the wall there um, a few places like here as you can see these can get filled up old curtain holes and stuff like that so uh, also these windows are going to get removed and replaced as well I went to the see the window people today and they should be delivering the windows on Thursday so two days time we should have our windows so let me show you what I'm going to be doing next I will be working in this room this small little room and this you can see where the guys are um, putting um, uh, putting an extra socket so they've chased the wall and put another socket here they've sort of patched it up very roughly sort of filled in the conduit there's conduits in these this is how we do it here so now i'm going to sort of just go over this if you look at it here you can see what it looks like it's done quite rough but it's sitting slightly slightly in so i can fill it up and I can sort of rub it and blend it with the wall. So that's the first job I'm gonna do. Um, then there's all these sort of cement holes. I can sort of patch these up with cement as well and sort of smooth these down. And then all the little small holes, I'll use uh, filler to do those. So let's make a start. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how we do this here. With this particular sand that I've got, it's a bit rough. It has sort of small sand stones in it. So it's sort of like a, a sharp sand. Um, so what we do is here, we sift the sand. So if you look through this, you can see the mesh in it. So we pour it in this and then we sort of sift the pile. So I've just done a, just a tiny little bit here and you can see already. So you just get this, this is what you get. And then you can make a finer plaster in sand with it or plastering mix. So I'll just show you um, how I'm gonna do this now.
I'm just using some water. It's just to help give you a key. Make sure it's not dust and stuff like that. Give it a nice clean up. So hot in here, everything dries up quite quickly anyway. Which helps you get things done quickly, but makes you have to do things quickly as well. Alright guys, so you can see I've basically gone around, patched up these sort of uh, big holes where chunks of cement had come out from nails probably being pulling out. It looks like there was probably some sort of shelf here. There's sort of two, 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 maybe there's some big nails or screws. Um, all these ones again, just used the satin cement, sort of patched it and just rubbed it. I'll clean around that once it's dried, clean off the excess sort of water, watery cement and stuff like that. Uh, but the main bit is done. Uh, as you can see, uh, just to give a bit of a close up on it. Um, I've sort of plastered it and rubbed it in with the hard flow. Um, taking it all the way around there. Up to the socket, let's see close up again. Um, I'm gonna let it firm up a bit more. When it gets harder, I'm gonna give it a little splash again. And then I'm gonna rub it again and then just give it a little bit more more of a smooth out um, yeah so I've actually got some of this stuff to do in the kitchen um, I've got quite a bit left in my bucket so I'm gonna come in the kitchen and see all these areas here have to be done where they chase down put these sockets on the wall all the way down there all the way across here 
all the way up here has got to be chased in. You can see the guys put them on and I've got to patch this all up. And I think there's another bit around the wall there as well, going behind these barrels. And I think there was some in this utility room, yep, as well. All around here where this socket is, I need to patch up. So I'm going to jump onto that now. So I've done the kitchen, you can see just the first sort of rub down of it. Give it another rub down in a bit. But um, that's that, I've done all the way down here. So it's nice and flat now and level. And I've done it all the way up there and that bit on top there as well. It's all done. I made a quick stop by to see how the guys were getting on. Um, they've actually started putting some colour on the hallway. So this is the colour that they've gone for. And also uh, one of the other guys is working in the second bedroom. So that bedroom has started today to be undercoat and filled. So hopefully we can get um, the uh, other bedrooms painted this week. Hi guys, so we're done for the day. Um, yeah, productive day. The guys have done well up there. They've started on another bedroom and they put some color as I showed you earlier on the balcony, the first coat. Also, um, I'll show you what we've done in here. Managed to get sort of two rooms under COVID, a bit of plastering, a bit of filling, stuff like that. So I'll just show you the, the progress on that now. So a lot more light now. I've taken off the boarding that was up on these windows. You can see how broken this window is, for instance. This one's just mangled up, totally broken. This one's broken as well, but I took the boarding off. So much more light in this room already. Um, one of the guys came and gave me a hand and just sort of hit it over a bit of an undercoat uh, in this room. <coughs> um, I did this one earlier. This one here. Uh, I did some, I filled in the big holes with some sand and cement. That's dried. Then I've just put some light filler over that. So um, all I've got to do is sand that down. The walls are quite quite decent in here. Show you a bit close up. That's sort of the paint really. But um, yeah, otherwise this room is pretty much ready. Um, that's the ceiling, obviously. So yeah, ready to sort of get some white on that ceiling. And uh, and the only bit I've got to do is this side is not that bad. So I just need to cork around this side. There's a few places like this that I need to do some cement repairs. Places like this as well. Otherwise, I'll be able to cork the rest of it. Um, also, so I've done a bit of uh, plastering, which obviously was here. I've done this one here. Blended that in nicely. It's just all, it's just all dusty cement. It's got to clean all this stuff off, brush it off before we paint. Um, see, I've done these areas as well, around the sockets and did this one here earlier which i showed you guys same thing again it's drying up nicely and then i went around and done loads of holes these holes there and then i'll put some filler on these just to make it nice and smooth so yeah that's it for today guys good progress um i'm off now so until tomorrow take care